It's difficult to think of the right things to say at a ceremony such as this. But it is important that we reflect forever on the events of the Holocaust to have a better understanding of what man can do to his fellow man when left unchecked. And as members of the United States military, we have a solemn vow to defend freedom not only for ourselves, but for those who cannot do it for themselves. And that I think is one of the important things that we take from this ceremony today. Remember that this isn't a ceremony or a remembrance for only one people or one nation or one religion. Because certainly there were many others besides members of the Jewish community of Europe that were also victims of the National Socialists. The undesirables were their target. Political dissenters, uh, those with different faiths, the handicapped. People that we value today were the targets of the Nazis. I have seen Auschwitz, I have been to Dachau. I can tell you how real and foreboding those places are. But the question that we should ask ourselves as Americans is, what do we do today to ensure that will not happen tomorrow? What would have happened if Nazi Germany would not have started the war and just would have started killing the Jewish members of their country and the undesirables to their government without ever starting a war with someone else? What would we have done? And what do we do today as we look around the globe? It is a difficult thing to take a country to war but when we look at the future, are there times when we will be forced to do just that, to save a people? When we look to the north of our own situation with North Korea, when do we finally say, enough? You're killing too many of your own people. As we look at our past, how do we adjudicate things that our own country has done in its past to ensure that they do not happen again? So when you take a few minutes out of your day today to remember the victims that we read, think of people all over the planet who suffer their fate at the hands of other men. And remember that our country, of all other countries, stands as perhaps the last great hope to ensure that one man will not kill another man just because of what he is. And it's the irony of things that sometimes we are forced to kill to stop that from happening. It's a difficult concept for us to grasp and to wrestle with. But as members of the armed forces, we are forced to do that every day. So take this time to reflect upon that, what our duty is, what the duty of our country is, not just for our own freedom, but for those around the globe to ensure that this never happens again.